today, as you guys can probably guess, I have a very fun, special video for you guys. So a lot of you guys have been commenting lately and DMing me on Instagram and saying, Shay, can you do an updated saddle pad collection video? And I did one about two years ago in 2019. So I'm gonna do it again because I got a couple new saddle pads over the years. So I figured I'll give you guys a little update. And since you all have been asking, I'm gonna give it to you. Anyway, I've got quite the collection, but I don't even know how many I have now, so we're gonna have to count together because I'm like kind of curious how many I don't even know. Uh, I'm very excited though. I can't wait to show you guys. So we're gonna start with this pile over here because this is my most newest pads and my boots. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move these for a sec. And we're gonna start with the pad that I just got for Christmas. This is the Lemieux Carbon Air Mesh Pad in Sage. It is stunning. So I am obsessed with the mesh Lemieux pads right now because look at the detail here. We love a carbon moment. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Also, it's so squishy. Like, watch. It's really light too. It's really breathable. And then this is like the inside as well. It's also really light on the inside too. It's very nice because the horses don't sweat a ton in them and they're just so like classical looking. I can't wait. Who um, thinks they should make every single color in the carbon fiber? I do. I think we need a pink one. Pink. Let me do <laughs> a pink like a rose gold fiber. Yeah, a rose gold. Come on. I think. I think we need that. Or the musk. Oh my gosh. The oh, the moss could be cool on this one too. Okay, so that is the Sage one. I can't wait to show you guys like Rocket wearing it and there might be a special occasion for him to wear it too. He has a matchy head bonnet. He does. You want to show us? Yeah. So if you guys want a head bonnet video, let me know, but this is the matching one I got for Christmas as well. It's like the satiny fancy one. Oh yes. Okay, the next saddle pad is also carbon mesh. Lemieux, but this one is for eventing, and this actually is one of my favorite saddle pads. I always want to wear it because I just think like the eventing pads look so cool. They're so sleek, you know. I feel like they can go faster in them. I just feel really cool. Faster in them? I don't know. Like I feel like the you know how like swimmers wear like the least amount of like clothing like when they swim so that they like can keep going fast. Like they have their hair up in the net and they have like very like thin suits. Aerodynamic. Aerodynamic, that's it. So the think that makes it go faster. I feel like this is aerodynamic. I just, I don't know, I just it feel is. like it is. It's the shape. Okay, so this is what it looks like close up. Again, very squishy, so airy, same inside, beautiful. That's mulberry color, by the way. Okay, mulberry? Yeah. Mulberry. This is their mulberry. I love their mulberry color, it's stunning, it's my, it's my main cross country show color. And I usually do oh the schooling in the azure or my pink sometimes or a different like Lemieux mulberry, but I always show the mulberry because pink is my color and mulberry is like close to pink. So that's the logic. All right, let's Why move on. Why do you wear pink in the show then? Because they frown upon it in the show <laughs> and I want to win, okay? So we, we try, well, we do what we can. <laughs> then this one is absolutely top, one of my favorite pads ever. I also got this one this year and it has a matching head bonnet too. And this is by Weatherbeeta, which I absolutely love Weatherbeeta because they're kind of like Lemieux, but like a little more affordable, not gonna lie. But what's cool about this pad is not only just the incredible freaking color design on it, <gasps> Oh, it gets me every time. But look at this. It has mesh. You see that? Mesh on the wither and the spine area, which is awesome because I, I've never seen that, but I, I feel like it's like really nice, breathable for their backs. As you can see, it is very well loved and worn. <laughs> that bathroom's been washed. After it's been washed? Yeah, I can't get that out. We're, we're gonna have to scrub it. Got oh, horse hair in my mouth. Got okay. horse hair. Next one is also very near and dear to my heart, and it is also by Weatherbeeta. And it is so cool, it's like a sunset moment. I am obsessed. Also it has a matching head on it, duh. So freaking cute. Also has the mesh, so you guys seen that, but like, look at this. So ombre. So ombre. Oh, I love an ombre moment. So cute. You need a rainbow one like that. We might. But it has purple, and you don't like purple. Like it has purple around But that's room. a rainbow. So you have a big purple fan. I'm not a huge purple fan, guys. I don't know. I like light purple, like a lavender, but I don't like dark purple. But this purple I like. 
because it's really pink. Like this one's more of a sunsetty purple. I just don't like a rich royal purple. Next one is also one of my favorites. It is by Weatherbeta as well. Very <laughs> well loved right now. I need a, it needs a bath, I think. Yeah, it needs a washing. Um, I just recently wore it with Rocket, so. This is my Weatherbeta yellow pad, but there are some additions to it that you guys might not know. This one says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good, and you guys watch Harry Potter, read Harry Potter, you guys know the reference. And then, Rocket and I both tested on the Harry Potter website as Hufflepuff, so which is why I got the yellow, and we have our Hufflepuff pride patch. Look at that. So it's a Harry Potter pad. It also, of course, has a matching head bonnet. Yes, and honestly, this is one of my favorites, not just because of Harry Potter, but because Rocket looks so freaking good in yellow. Oh my God, he's like a little sunflower moment. Yes. Now we have this one. I actually don't wear this one a lot, but I really like it still. And this is my kind of like cornflower blue pad, because you know, we just needed one in this color. I have a sunflower pad in pretty much every color. Every color. I think you guys have seen this one before in my previous haul, but if you guys are new here or you haven't seen my last video, check it out. It has sparkly detailing and that's what I love the most about it. Very good sparkle moment. Because I don't like just plain pads. Like they always have to have a little sparkle to them. Okay, so this one is um, one of my favorites as well. <laughs> also really dirty. Um, I love this one because it says Rocket on it. And this one is by, Oh, it's by Classics by Toklat. 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 It's Toklat. a Toklat pad. They make such good pads. Yes. And so we have the rocket patch here. And then, why do you worry about this one? It had a previous like barn emblem here. So. Um, it had a previous, your previous barn logo. Yeah, logo. So, so I don't go there anymore, so we covered it up in <laughs> the patch. And it says, hey there. <laughs> so. <laughs> repurposed because I really wanted to wear this one because I love this like yellow kind of gold and green moment so I really wanted to wear this pad because it has that rocket patch here that I think is absolutely stunning and rocket looks so good in green but I was like it'd be awkward to wear my old Barnes logo so then my mom was like let's put a patch over it and this is the one we found it's very cool well, we designed that together we did we just got to design one, so I came up with the hey there saying, and then this one came a different color actually. So my mom actually colored it over with green <laughs> and everything. So really it was a whole DIY moment. It's crazy. It said it was green and it came turquoise. It did, it was freaking turquoise. It's crazy. It did not and that happen. did not look good with it. Next, um, I think you have seen this before, but this is a Kingsland. I usually use it for shows. That um, used to be your main show pad until yeah. you went to Lemieux. Yes. Look at the quilting, very unique quilting. And then the stitching, really cute like logo patch here. Also has like Kingsland logo up here, just really nicely stitched in. So it's got great embroidery all, al all around it. Very cool. Ten my initials. Ten. Yes, <laughs> I love Kingsland. Yes. Sweet. Next one is also a new addition to the saddle pad family. This my is my favorite. Yes. This when I do my cross country schooling, and usually it's my Lemieux Azure pad. Azure. Azure pad. Azure. Azure. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. And it's by Lemieux. Very cute. Also has a matching head bonnet, and I have a matching cross country hat cover with it. And top. And top. I got everything with the whole Azure. beachy moment. It really is. It's really beachy. I love it. I don't even have turquoise things, you know, because I'm like, eh. But this is just like a really nice turquoise color. So it's like it's so nice. What I love about Le Lemieux actually is they just like, when they have their colors, they're just so rich in that color. You know, it's not just a basic color like turquoise. And it's like, I don't know, even know. It's like you a need. part on the color spectrum of that color. Next one is the blueberry pad. My face. Ooh, you guys have seen this before, one of my mom's face. Kind of not my favorite. Cause I have nothing that matches it really, so it never I don't know. Used. Never gets you. <laughs> but it's still a cool pad. I'm just not a huge purple fan. Okay, this one. Wait. Oh yeah, this one's my uh, steel blue. Steel blue. Yes. yes. I haven't used this. Actually, no. I think I used this a while ago. But this is pretty good too. I really like this color. It looks really nice on Rocket. Very pretty. Very it's you know toned down. Gray, so it goes with the gray undertones of his coat, you know? Yeah, it really does. And you guys have probably seen all my plush green Stockholm pads, but 
If you guys are new here, we'll go through them too. We got my black equestrian Stockholm, which is quite used a lot because I love equestrian Stockholm pads. They're really, what's nice about them is they're so satiny. So I really liked the old equestrian Stockholm logo. I don't think I have any of the new ones, um, but no? Okay, so um, I'm just like, I have my old ones and they're just classics, you know, really good classics, it solid. Chanel, it does, it looks like Chanel. They're just like really classy, chic, yeah all of that and i just love them so 10 out of 10 on that one i wear that one a lot because black is like always matches everything so i can wear whatever color i want and have black rock in a black pad and it's perfect okay next we also have another one of my favorites this one is so stunning because it is this gorgeous blue but it's not just that it's got little pearls are you shy my <laughs> have this beautiful lavender one i love this one and it also has, once again, pearls, period. Next one we have is also another one of my big favorites. And my mom and I were not sure how good this would look on Rocket because this is very much like his color when he's got warm color in the summer, like when his coat's not clipped. But holy moly, does it look good on him. Champagne. It makes him look so yummy. Yeah, like a tiramisu champagne moment. Yeah, that color is oh, called champagne, my but it looks taupey. Yeah, it's really pretty. Like, it looks different online, too, but then when you get it, it's, oh, it's stunning. And then what I love about this one is they really didn't, like, they didn't, like, slack on the details because their logo thing is usually silver, but this one, it's gold! We're gonna go into this pile here for a sec because these are also pushed in Stockholm, so these are my backup, my backup pads. So I have, oh my God, I'm not gonna be good. So I have, this one at the barn right now, actually, because I wear it all the time. This is the one pad that will always be in my tap shed because I have some barn, uh, pads at the tap shed right now. And so I'll just take it out of the wrap for now so you guys can really see it. It is the rose pad, absolute classic. We had to get two of them because they actually don't have this anymore, right? So I just like always have this extra one just in case it ever gets out of stock or my pad currently just gets like destroyed from using it so much. So it's just good to have like it on the side. Then we also have this one which I've used in shows before. And no. It's, no? It's never been used. I'm dying for you to use it in show, but it has navy and red and you're so anti-classic colors. Well, I don't need to be an American flag for shows. Okay, well I've not used this one apparently. It's so, it's so classic though. Very cute. All right, so this was my Ledia Sparkle Pad, but we repurposed it for Halloween. So now it has rockets on it. But it's also like one of my favorite pads too. And I think the, the rockets can come off or something. Yeah, but. we can, but, but just in case he wants to go with that again. Yeah, they're just gonna leave it for now. Um, it's very cute and I love it. <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen my Halloween vlog, you should check it out even though it's not Halloween anymore. It's still fun. Took me forever. Took her three million years. Okay, this one I won at a horse uh, polo game and I don't use it. It's just more like a trophy. Because it's kind of like got fleece in it. I didn't win it. Okay, so my sibling won this, and apparently, uh, I still have it. So, good job to them. This is another one. This is my dressage show pad. Love it. I wore it in my last dressage show, and it is by Lip You. It's really stunning. And what makes this show worthy is not just that it's white, but it's got like this. It's like leathery. So yeah, it's just like extra classic. Yeah. yeah, it's like really classy. So very stunning, absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is my next show pad. I love this one too. It's very satiny, stunning. That's the Loire collection. Yes, in Lemieux. Loire and Lemieux, and oh my goodness. And then this is my main show pad now. I love that. This is my main bitch. <laughs> I love this one. It yeah. is of course the Carbon Mesh. I just love the Carbon Mesh, you guys. You already yeah. know it. Squish. Next, <laughs> this one needs a bath. You know, this is my classic schooling lesson day with judging people around me pad. You know, keeps you <laughs> safe. So if you guys ever are like, I need a pad that just keeps me like safe, just like get one with your horse's name on it. You know, Aww. it always, it's just the classic. Next one, <laughs> I've not worn this one in a while, but I really need to bring it out. It's very bright, but okay, so the funny story about this one is my mom did not like it. She was like, I don't want to keep this one, but I was like, mom, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And so this is my very orange pad. And um, 
I love it though because it has like these cool palm trees and it has like this really pink, nice, what is it called? Ribbiting? Where? What is these called? Oh, cording? Cording. Yeah. It has this like pink and orange cording. And that's what I like about it because it reminds me of orange sherbet, which is one of my favorite ice cream flavors. Mm -hmm. So, oily. Get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And I have a pink matching, um, like matches this pink bonnet. So it's like, it's a whole, like, I don't know, 80s. 70s, 70s. It's a whole 70s vibe when Rock is wearing it. No, it's like the one with like the disco. Like, do, do, do. That's Isn't 70s. It like 80s is, is neon. No. <laughs> okay, guys, we settled the debate. My mom's on 80s side. I'm still on the 70s side. Okay, next. Comment um, below what you guys think, but they're going to disagree with you because they all agree. <laughs> Next pad is also another favorite, but I haven't worn it in a while. It is my HB Polo pad. It is pink, very, very pink. I love this shade of pink. And it has sparkles. It kind of reminds me of like, no. It kind of reminds me of like a Paris Hilton pad. Like, I feel like if Paris Hilton had a style pad, she'd probably have like this one, like, like in flag. the 2000s, you know? I'm just looking at that now. And which does look like a flag. It is a flag of Shay. Next one, you guys have seen this one before, red and black. I love it. It kind of gives me Cruella vibes, you know? I love it. It's by QHP. You used to wear these ones when you did polo. Yeah, these are all my polo pads. Wow, I wear that one though still. I have this red matching head bonnet and the rocket looks so... <sighs> A femme fatale. Next, we have, you guys have seen this before. These are the gem collection from Escadron, and I have these in like three colors. I think I got rid of one of the colors though. Did we, we get, sold the green. We sold, we sold the green one. So I just have the pink one and the blue one now. This is the pink one. So this is the blue one. Beautiful. What I like about the blue one is that it has some pink in it still. Yeah, get it. This is also, so I kept this. This is one. so old. This is my first ever saddle pad, actually. Yeah, it's custom my first made. one. I had it custom made by um, La Martina for you. Yeah, Polo. Very full of that. It was the very first one for Toasty. Yeah, so I kept it around for memories. Like, it's just one of those memory pads, you know? And then this one's like a red pad. I don't really use it that much, but it is. What is it, John Whitaker? John Whitaker pad. And it's really cute, but I just like don't wear like red. A lot, unless it's like Lemieux red. Go quickly through these ones. These ones are my half pads. I don't really use them. And so this is by Dover. This is just like a white half pad. Super and like, thick though. I used to use it for showing when I needed it, but I don't need it because you can have the pink half pad in jumpers. Then this is my old, old show, uh, I mean, jumping one, and it was pink. But I also, I like wore this one a lot. It was for my little girl Toasty at the time. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. And it, I think it used to be fluffier, but kind of flattened over time. But I also don't use it because you don't really see the pink. You just see the yellow, which is not a vibe. But on my other one, you can see the pink. This one's also, this is a blue one. Same one. Okay, this one, this is so cool. This is like my Gucci pad. It's not actually by Gucci, it's by Escadron. But look how cute. It's got like a ton of like really cool detail on it too. Like it's got these like rubber arrows, which I think, I think helps so it does, it sticks. Right? Yeah, I think so the saddle and the saddle pad under it don't slip. Okay, this one I will never get rid of, even though it's <laughs> almost like out of sparkle on one side. This is my pink sparkly pad. By Ledia by Smart Pack. So sparkly, I love it. It's my first ever sparkle pad. Sadly, it's lost its luster on one side. How come? Um, just by being rubbed off by the saddle and my leg, I think, too. Then, I always wear this for dressage. This is my dressage red pad. Uh, it's the, what's it called, Maybe. pepper? Oh, chili. Like chili pepper. Yeah, yeah the chili Lydia. pepper. Yeah. I love oh, the God, chili pepper color. Next, you guys have seen this one before. These are by Punk Ponies, and sadly, this one kind of is like lost its like holographicness over time and it kind of looks a little, a little rough, a dull. little dull, but it's still shiny. Yeah, it's still got a bit of color weight. Yeah, so it's like for a good bright day, you know? This one's a little better quality though and it's maybe it's just because I haven't worn it as much, but it's, I love this one still. It's like really cool. It's pink and holographic. -y. These are my purple pads. Oh, yeah, I see them. Okay, <laughs> these are dressage pads there by, what are they by? Oh yeah, these are the diamond edition. Uh, I don't know where they're by. I forgot, but I don't it's think you can get them anymore. They're brand and they used to be holographic. But yeah, they're not so. Came out. Yeah, they're not really holographic. They're a little holographic. Okay, maybe from HP Polo. If you guys check out my last saddle pad haul, you'll probably I might be have remembered it back then. 
So Been check it out. We are almost to the end here. This is my also classic black sparkle pad. I love this one. It's also another safety pad because I get to have a little sparkle, but it's a neutral black color. Very easy. Um, sadly, oh. I don't know what happened on this side either. I, that's from my saddle. Life? No, it's from my saddle. Oh. So I don't know, I guess one side of my saddle like ruined it a little bit more, but you can't see it because it's under the saddle anyway. And then we have, of course, the Galaxy Saddle Pad. This is also a polo pad. It has Rebel Polo on it. It has a Rebel Polo patch. Very fun, very cool. We love it on Rocket because, of course, Rocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Right? Yeah. I love that. And then we have another red one. Um, this is just like a classic red. It is by Equine Couture. It's kind of like a Lemieux almost in a way. Uh, it's the same kind of fabric as Lemieux uses, so it's really nice. And it's just a nice like little red practice pad. This is the red pad I usually use when I do wear like red pads. Um, and I really like it. It's just like really fun, really comfy, Got very that cute. Got costume last Christmas. Oh, right! What, Spider-Man? Rocket was Captain America and I was Spider-Man, yeah. so this was for his costume. Like, nice. Yeah, so I wear it a lot. Lastly, we have a bear back pad. I don't wear this one right now. This is my kind of backup bear back pad because I have one at the barn and I love it a lot. It's my Thin Line. Always recommend the Thin Line bear back pads. They're kind of the best. They're like really squishy. They feel nice on the horse because look at this like girth is like this really nice kind of like material, I don't know, rubbery almost. It's just, it sticks, but it doesn't like rub their hair. It's just soft. And it like, if you're kind of training your horse to accept like the feeling of barebacking, or they're like not sure about it, or you're trying to like stay on, this one's perfect. It's a really confidence builder in both the horse and you. Hey, oh my God. <laughs> and that is even the saddle pads. I forgot to count them all. <laughs> 43, so at the barn, I probably have like five more maybe. We'll have to count. Let's go to the barn, guys, and I'll show you guys the ones that I have there. What's up? Sorry for the lighting change, but we are here at the barn. It's so freaking dark. Oh my gosh. It gets dark so early. It's annoying. Um, bring me back to summertime, right, buddy? Yeah, he agrees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm gonna show you guys the rest of my saddle pad collection. Thank you. He loves when I wear puffy jackets. Hello, putters. <laughs> um, Rocket. Rocket, sir. He literally just broke into his carrot bag. You made a mess. Okay, sorry for like what looks like Stranger Things. It's like really dusty in here, I guess. But first we have my bareback pad. It's a Western pad, but I wear it for like days. I want to do like tricks and stuff on Rocket. Oh my God, what is with, why does it look like I'm in the in, upside down? Anyway, um, I wear this bare back pad when I want to do tricks on Rocket's back or just want to vibe, you know? It's just like makes his, like, it's extra cushy for his back so I can stand on him and stuff. Then, of course, he got my Equestrian Stockholm one. It's a little stained over here from my saddle. And then this kind of corroded so you can tell how much I use it. Then I also have my Shockamole sports pad again stained from the saddle because i use it so much um and it's just like really nice it's got like a lot of different pinks on it and then it's one of my favorites as well it's a little dusty right now is my lemieux and it's the mulberry ombre so it like goes to black isn't that incredible and then look at that holographic sparkly one of my absolute faves then this is another dressage pad it's a little dusty right now but it's blue it's also by lemieux I don't know why the camera's not picking up how nice of a color it is. There we go. Stunning. That's how gorgeous it is. It's even better in person. Then we also have my Lemieux Musk. This is the Lemieux Musk dressage pad. Incredible. Stunning. And then lastly, I don't know why this is hanging at such a weird angle, but this is my Lemieux pink pad. I'm going to fix this off. I'll fix that off camera. I don't know why it's like that, but yeah, that is my pads. Oh, last one. I got my avocado pad. Yes, vibes. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I have about 50 pads. Oh, plus this one. See, so yeah, 51. This is my pink mats half pad. Yay! Okay, guys, this is the saddle pad collection. Oh my goodness, like almost 50 pads. I might have a problem. Okay, anyway, you guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when I post. Put a comment below if you guys have this many saddle pads or is this a disease?
Do, do you we... think I should get more saddle pads? Comment down below. Or a 12 step program. <laughs> a 12 step program where I get a saddle pad every step, right? So 12 uh, yes. more saddle pads? Oh my god, right? Perfect. Okay, I, I love even, it. That's for sure. You got it. I call Facts. It. Definitely. <laughs> anyway, guys, to help fund my saddle pad addiction, check out my merch. The links are all down below. And now let's do some video shout outs. First shout out goes to Steven Notman. Shout out to Peachy. Shout out to Adriana and Willow. Shout out to Callie Deerdorf. And last shout out goes to Emily Royal. If you guys want me the next video's video shout outs, then don't forget to comment on this video or any of my other videos. Or you can comment on my Instagram, Shay's Way Official, TikTok, Shay and Rocket, Twitter, Shay's Way Slays, and Facebook, Shay's Way. Okay, thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great night. Have a great saddle pad collection day. Yeah. Okay, bye.